Well, the next instrument in my talking about tuning discussions is going to be my beloved the trombone, right? Here she is, looking lovely. Um, and you'll see this right here. This is my Tonal Energy app. You do not have to have that app. I like it because it has weird faces, but it did cost a couple dollars in the App Store. There are plenty of free ones. If you have a smart music subscription, like my students do, there's a tuner built in to using smart music before you play. You may be asking, why do I even need a tuner, Miss G? I don't need this. Never used it in my life. Well, you may be playing the right note on your instrument, but if your instrument's out of tune, it's going to sound like you're playing the wrong note. Okay? And if you're using something like smart music, you're going to be like, I literally played my part correctly, but it says I did it wrong. Well, you might be out of tune. If you're sitting in band class next to somebody, we're both playing trombone, we both go to play a B-flat, our B-flats sound gross, we're like, ugh. It could be one or both of us that we didn't tune, right? So how do we do that on a trombone? I'm showing you mine. My trombone does have a trigger. So that means I have extra piping going on right here, right? You're like, wow, but she has a lot going on. We're going to worry about all that extra stuff for a minute, and we're going to focus on the big one. So if you have a trombone that is a regular F attach or not F attachment trombone, it doesn't have this extra piece right here. It just has one sort of wraparound, right? And we should be able to move that piece. See, mine moves nice and free. If it doesn't move, your trombone needs a bath, okay? Your trombone needs to be cleaned. You should put a little bit of, there's like um, slide grease that goes onto that, different than the slide grease that goes on here. It's a little bit thicker. This one should be nice and watery or just water, okay? But up here, we usually put like stuff that's a little bit goopier, um, and it keeps that this slide lubricated, so that way we can actually move it as needed. And you're like, why do I need to move it? Well, let's say we push it all the way in, like I have mine here, and I go to play a B-flat, so it should register as a B-flat on my tuner. My B-flat is super high. What if I play the high one? Still thinks I'm playing a B-natural. Why? Well, because I made my instrument super short by pushing this all the way in. So if I pull it out almost as far as it'll go, I should be super flat, right? I made my instrument longer. Oh, I think my B-flat's in tune. Maybe my instrument needed that today. So that was wild because today that means that this is how my instrument thinks it's in tune, which is like a little bit scary. Um, I had to pull all the way out to get that. So if I had picked somewhere in the middle, yeah, my trombone really wants to be that sharp today. Okay. So this one, for example, I'll show you. I'm about halfway on my thing. It mostly wants to go up into that land of sharp. It kind of scooted its way into it, right? And we want it to light up that happy, like, green B-flat right in the middle. And so the way that we adjust that is literally by pulling this slide, getting it to the spot that when we play that note, when we hold that note, uh, wow, it really wants to be pulled all the way out. And sometimes it's like that, right? Um, if it's hot, if it's cold, if your trombone's having a bad day, if you're having a bad day, these are all going to affect <laughs> how your instrument tunes. And it's different from day to day and different depending on the instrument that you're using, too. Not all trombones tune the same way. Uh, wants to be pulled out like that so using this backslide is going to help you actually get in tune on your instrument uh, mine just wants to be picky today uh, now i think i'm super flat i went a little bit too far um and i could do this for like another five minutes on the video but i'm not going to show you that all right i just wanted to show you that if we come to this tuning slide we're going to pull on that guy either up or down right make your instrument smaller if our note is too um, underneath, right? If it's if it's lower, if it's a flat note, we want to make our instrument smaller so that way our instrument is more sharp. But if our instrument is too small and our note is higher, then we need to make our instrument a little bit longer by pulling this out. Hopefully that kind of helps you guys walk through this. Um, and if you have questions, comments, concerns, do this in first position, by the way, so your instrument is its like closed length, right? Um, feel free to ask.